Guys, Hypertown 2018 has ended, this is the first that kind of a festival in Latvia. Now if you weren't there, this is the right video for you because I'm gonna be showing you everything that was there. I'm going around in a path, so maybe I'll put like a map on the left corner that will show you where I am. So starting off nearest to the entrance, there are a bunch of shops where you could buy imported things from Japan, like food, shirts and all kind of things related to Japanese culture. Of course there was a lot of VR and the first VR people probably noticed was the one where you could go on a roller coaster ride on a shaking machine or you could go in infinite movement, although the infinite movement system looked very ghetto and it looked awkward from the side and it probably wasn't too good. There was a cryptocurrency miner here yesterday with graphic cards inside it. That was pretty weird showing a GPU miner in a gaming event, okay, but they said they were doing it just to show gamers what other things you can do with GPUs. There were a lot of old PCs where young kids played CS 1.6, nice with the times. A lot of screens where you could play retro games and also new PS4 releases. Of course comes the next VR. This company provides VR setups for corporate events or just events. Basically they had two VR games on HTC Vives. They also had a retro game, Rocket League and two racing simulators. Pretty random, I know. There was a place where you could play and buy actual table games. Also there was another shaking simulator and a place where you could learn how to build robots. Some actually good racing simulators here. More random arcade games. HP Omen were presenting their gaming desktops and laptops and the kids were playing Fortnite and CSGO all the time and there was also a VR setup where you could play super hot on I believe an HTC Vive. On the other side Microsoft had a mixed reality headset which was really cool and it's actually cheaper than the Vive. Electric segways and scooters, watch out this one's coming for you, it could move on its own. Hash Rush was pretty much the only legitimate game presented in this event and it was about earning ICO tokens while playing the game, pretty interesting concept. This one's an actually interesting VR setup, I know right? It's basically a puzzle game but they're only leaving it for their special own place. So basically you can only play it at their place and they do have some ambitious plans for the future. MSI had a lot of PCs, a lot of laptops and probably desktops that were using MSI components and kids were playing Fortnite and PUBG all the time here. And there was also a gaming tournament where you could play Overwatch, it was pretty fun. Anyone could sign up but sadly I missed my spot. Basically, well Samsung had a lot of screens. They had this QLED TV where you could play FIFA and ultra ultra wide monitors where you could play various games and experience what playing on a monitor like this is really like. LEO had some random bikes where you could bike in a simulation, okay. More Veep stuff spotted on the left and Swebbank signing up people for IC cards in exchange for dry ice. And also, you could take images. There was this artist alley where people were, I think, selling or showcasing their artistic things. Cool. The back was supposed to be a chill slash play area. For some reason, the army was there as well. You could throw frisbees, play laser tag, and play some other table games like table hockey and table tennis. And there was also a skate park and a racing track for RC cars and some table tennis. There were YouTuber Q&As and discussions and meetups. That was really interesting actually. In my opinion, one of the most fun parts of this event. I spent a lot of time there. You could watch cosplay master classes, but you could also watch cosplay competitions. And the competitions were interesting because it wasn't only cosplay. The cosplayers put up little performances, so it was entertaining to watch. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, go look at my cosplay streams. Now this is the esports hall where you could watch CSGO on the first day and League of Legends on the second day. Now this is the most people there probably were and it's I think it's the final match between Latvian and Lithuanian team. Most seats weren't taken, only like a quarter of seats were taken so there weren't a lot of people but the Lithuania ended up winning CSGO. I don't know about League of Legends because I don't care, it's a dead game, okay, I don't like League of Legends. And for those saying the CS goes to that game, you're right, but League of Legends is even deader. There were way less viewers in the live stream and in real life. And after everything in the evening in the cosplay stage, there was like an impromptu beatbox DJing thing. I don't know, whatever. So that's it guys. I hope the next year is gonna be even better and there are gonna be even more games.